Hey Scorpio, what's up? How's it going? How's August treating you? I hope it's treating you well. I mean, hell, you know, I feel like it's low key, like, it's just a lot, it's a lot. And I'm glad you're still here with us. So um, this month I'm gonna do something a little different. Just gonna do two Oracle cards. I'm gonna bust out my, a big old Rider Waite deck. It's so big. It looks small, but it's huge. Um, anyway, I don't know why I just felt the need to explain that to you with visuals, but I did, Scorpio, because I, shit, maybe you think it's funny. Maybe you just, I don't know. But this month, we're going to get into the main theme or thing you're going to be uh, working on or thinking about or working on. Okay, so we're going to like get into this one for you. Sorry, I just like flubbed that all up. But it'll be fine though, right? You're not judging me. You're still my friend, right? Yeah. Sure. Okay. So let's get into this one. So your first Oracle card. Ooh, that one almost jumped out. So your first oracle card is chaos and conflict. And then your next one is going to be time for a nap. Hmm. Funny how those two go together, right? If you're going to be a raging story, you might as well get some rest as well. So I want to get into this one. And then also your tarot card for the month is the two of wands, right? So when you have time, look it up. Check out the image as well if you are new to tarot. I don't want to speak on it too much, but I feel like this might be about thinking about past opportunities. And like normally it's like waiting for your ships to come in. But. One particular ship right so chaos and conflict let's get into this first card is 33 these are typically about collaboration so it could be that you're having a conflict with someone you're trying to work with hmm? dang Whew. right You could be dealing with a mother figure who is refusing to see you grow up. Because I got the Queen of Pentacles, right? And the Page of Swords, and then the World card in reverse. But I don't really get these as like reverse, but I do get them as blocked. So there could be, it could be Earth Sign or someone that you deem as like a more nurturing sort of energy. They could be talking to you like you're a little bit, little kid. It could be that because someone thinks you're inexperienced, that it's blocking you from being able to move forward with something and to end a certain type of cycle and move forward. It could be that you have this hard time with like, um, getting like authority figures, mostly like women or like older people, like caretaker type energies. They don't take you seriously like so it could be that maybe they see it's a lot of talk and very little action could be that you're impulsive um it like it could be old things though i really like this really really old shit so it could be that like as of right now like people just aren't taking you seriously or that you're also just struggling with the fact that you have sort of these The other thing could be that you've looked at these sort of energies in the past, right? And you're, you are this one in the sense of like, you're the page of swords. You're just like, oh, I can never be like that, right? And because you think you can't, that's what's stopping this from from like kind of happening so that's what stop you from getting the world or from things coming together and being all balanced out and in place could be too that um
you could you could have been or you could be working through having kind of like having to raise yourself if that makes sense because like people who kind of have to learn things on their own or they aren't they aren't nurtured in a way that they that like you know the average person is or should be i don't even think that shit is true but you know what i mean like average person like what is that but it could be a situation where you just don't um it's kind of like <sighs> coming to terms with like hey I had to raise myself in certain ways. So there's certain things that I didn't know. And those things may have stopped me in the past, but not anymore. It's kind of what I think. I think that another thing is too, is that you're moving past that with this um, time for a nap cart. That you're actually moving past kind of thinking about like, oh, growing up, I didn't have this or that. And so it stopped me in this way. Growing up with this and that, I had to go through this or I had to raise myself. I think it's kind of like looking at those past things and going, you know what? But I got through it, I raised myself, I did this, and now I'm this person. So I almost think that, like, uh, in sort of realizing that you are this bigger force or this important person or this this person that, like, is abundant and stuff, you're kind of letting go of this, um, holding yourself back or being inadequate, if that makes sense. Like, you're, like, you're not even thinking about being adequate anymore, you're more than adequate. And I say more than adequate, and then the damn Nine of Pentacles come out. Now, the Queen of Pentacles is in reverse now. So now it's the Nine of Pentacles. So it could be that you are working through that. You don't get the world, but you get the Wheel of Fortune, Scorpio. That's what I'm saying. Like, you know, I, I really do think it's... And then you got the King of Pentacles instead of the Queen of Pentacles. So it could be that, like, that business situation that you were waiting to come through is finally going to come through. It could be that that situation that you thought that you weren't ready for in the past because you weren't refined enough and you had to learn certain things on your own that is finally going to come through. It just took some time is kind of what I'm getting. But it's like um, with the Nine of Pentacles, you kind of build this yourself. It's a very independent sort of energy. And the thing is, is that that independent energy that you've built yourself, it could truly spin into something that's even bigger. If that makes sense. So more abundant. But it's because... And like... It, it's it's when you're resting it's like you work so hard and it's like time for a nap and i think it's also letting go of like this past like if it's imposter syndrome it's letting that go um and that could be in terms of like shit you know when you like having like at least for me with having anxiety it makes me sometimes feel like i'm a loser person like i'm over here acting like i'm normal like everybody else i'm not like you know so uh it's, it could be kind of that it's like it could be letting go of that kind of energy, too. It's like, it is what it is. Ain't no instructions to this shit. Yeah. Looking at the past and seeing hope. This is like the star card. It's like hope. It's like seeing something coming from it. Something bright. Something real. See? And here we go. We got movement, choices, and decisions. It could be that you now have options where there weren't any in the past. So it could be that maybe now you waiting, maybe in the past, like you were waiting for your ships to come in and they didn't and maybe now they are, right? So it could be that. And then we have uh, five, which is financial material changes. So these changes could be, could go either way. So you want to stay prudent with the King of Pentacles. Sounds like it could be a good thing, but it may, may, it may be a situation where you're going to have to invest and really be in control and really nurture and like be like father, like parent the hell out of whatever it is you're about to do. Because uh, it could go, it could go good or bad is the vibe I get. Yeah. And with the power card too, it's like the strength card. So it's about having both. It's like, it's taming the beast and being one with the, at the same time. It's like animals know how to like, like if a lion is hunting, it's, it's not going to waste its energy on dumb shit. It's going to, it's going to use its energy to catch what it needs to catch. It's not going to be running around, not catching anything all day and just being on, you know, running around or goofing off, um, if it needs to eat and that's part of it, but it's just kind of like, if you're getting a second chance at something in the past, you're going to have to be measured in how you do it this time. And you're going to have to really control whatever that beast is. And then also to be a little wild where maybe you wouldn't have been. Like, it could also be the balance between the two because it is power. You know, it could also be that you're understanding that you have power in the situation. 
um, if it was a situation where you may not have had power before. Sounds pretty bossy to me, Scorpio. That's pretty dope. I'm like high key jelly. I'm like through this card. Um, but yeah, I think that maybe you, you could also be looking at your past achievements as well and being like, you know what? Whoop, well, I did that. But I do think it's that where it's like you've um could be one thing that you're still waiting or holding out on though. Let's see. Damn. <laughs> so I wanted to clarify the card for disruption, which I which is what I got. I got disruption and then material harvest and then solitude, right? And then to clarify the disruption card, I got the tower card. They're both 16 because they're the same card. So your restructure was a legit restructure. This might have to do with the whole um, sheltering in place situation that that caused you to kind of use what you had while in solitude because we have two nines. Um, so yeah, you could have been using what you had at your disposal in order to create some type of abundance. So in that sense, you could have learned from going without in the past and taking advantage of what you have in order to move forward because... Sorry to cut myself off. Hmm. It might also be that like uh, your period of rest or, or being dormant. It's like you were working hella hard, then you rested, and now it's like judgment. So it's like you worked really hard, you tried to grow something. And this is like in the midst of all this. So like this tower fell, right? You started working on your shit. Now it's your time to rest and there's going to be a time to wait to receive. So you could be waiting to receive right now. And that's also something that you're trying to learn because like Scorpios tend to make shit happen. And so if that's the case, then waiting to receive is kind of a lesson to learn in and of itself. And it can also be a little tiring, a little irritating. So good luck with that. It looks like a, <laughs> it sounds kind of extra, but from what I can see, it looks like it's going to go well. And it's also one of those situations where, you know, because the intuition card at the bottom of the deck, you know. I think you understand what's going to happen in the end. Or at least you have a feeling that things are going to go how you think they're going to go, how you feel they're going to go, if that makes sense. So at the end of the day, you might not know the exact events that are going to happen or how this shit's going to play out. But you at least have a feeling that, like, however it turns out is going to match the feeling you already have in your heart about it. So... Yeah, I want to leave it at that. I don't want to make it too long. Um, I'll be posting some more. We're going to have a surprise for everybody towards the end of the month. Um, and yeah. So that was a cute reading. I don't know. I don't want to talk too much about it. You also got the death card too. So you might get some changes and have some things changing in your life. Could be the things that you've always wanted to change. And I literally cut the deck to throw it in there and seen the tower card again. So I'm done doing that. We've seen the tower three times. Um on this one so changes upon changes upon changes so you could also be changing your plans a lot as well and if that's the case though um believe in yourself and, and don't settle don't settle on shit and um with that being said though you're you you are going to make the right choice yeah so yeah have a good one and catch you on the internet all of that hi